Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, June the 16th. It's good to have you with us today. We've got two guests and we're going to talk about some really special events that are going on in our in our area. I want to introduce you first of all to Brian Mayhew, who is with us from Callaway Plen Air. Welcome to hey, Radio Friends. Thanks. Hey, Tell me what Plen Air is. Okay. Uh, Callaway Plein Air was uh, the inaugural Plein Air event for the Art House, which is a not-for-profit art mm -hmm. space in Fulton, Missouri. Plein Air is a French term. En plein air means um, in the open air, and it could be dining en plein air, or in mm -hmm. this case, painting or creating art en plein air. So I'm speaking French here. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Now, you had you had a special event, what was it, the 1st of June? Uh, May 30th through June 1st, uh -huh. we had an event where artists came in from three states. We had 45 artists. Uh -huh. came from as far away as Ohio, and in three days, they created 125 new paintings of Callaway County. 125 yeah. brand new paintings of Callaway yes. County. Yes. And they did it in three days? Correct. They were inspired. Correct. One guy did nine paintings. Yeah, I just, I just did three, one a day. Most artists did one a day. This guy did nine. <laughs> Little <Nice>. ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you did one painting a day? Correct. Well, how how'd you get your inspiration up to do that? Uh, when you've got your paints and, a, and the landscape, it's just kind of your training, and you just kind of go with, the, you know, it's the mood of the day, the, right. the color of the day, and you just you kind of get in the mode and just do it. Okay, so now what's going to happen or what is happening to all of those paintings that were created? Okay, so on June 1st, we had our wet paint meet the artist reception. So all the artists had to have their stuff into the gallery by three. Uh -huh. We had an hour to hang it before the judge, Billy O'Donnell, came in and did the adjudication. And then there was a private VIP reception for landowners that let us paint on their land and people giving um, purchase that committed to purchase a painting, mm -hmm. and then they met the artist, and that was kind of the kickoff opening, and now the show is open through uh, June 29th. Okay, so, so people can come now correct. through the end of the month and take a look at these paintings. If they just feel they have to have one of these paintings, yes. they can make a, uh, Absolutely. a, a, a bid on it. No, no, it's everything else now. It's just straight purchase. And okay. they're priced really affordably. A lot of them are small, and we've got things for maybe 100-something, maybe 200, up to five, up to 1,200. But yeah. there's something for every budget. And when they buy something, you know, they're supporting the artists, and they're supporting the arts in mid-Missouri. Exactly. And we are a not-for-profit, and our, our main mission is education. And the reason we did this exhibit, because this is teaching people the what, why, where, and how art is created and it right. was really a wonderfully successful and very powerful for people in the community to see artists set up painting in downtown Fulton or out in the countryside painting. How did you decide, we're almost out of time here, but how did you decide whose property you were going to ask permission to paint on? Well we were just going for, you know, Callaway County is pretty diverse. We've got the River Valley in the south and then sort of Ozark River foothills in the mm -hmm. midsection and then Prairie in the north. We wanted something from all sort of the geological features of the yeah. county. Okay, so where do people come to see the uh, the artwork? It, Art House is at 531 Court in the Brick District, downtown Fulton. Okay. Or arthousefultonmo.org and also on Facebook. Okay. And I could give our phone number if sure. you'd like, 573-592-7733. 573-592-7733 three. for more information. And that will be through May the 29th. Uh, through June through, through June the 29th. Correct. Okay, well, May 29th, that's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Thanks. Thank you so much for coming Thank by you. and sharing. Please come back again. I'd be happy All to. All right. Now, we turn to Matt 
Jernigan. Yes. Good to have you here, Matt. Thank you. Columbia Farmers Market. You've got a special event coming up that you want to tell us about. Yeah, there's actually a farm to table we're having June 22nd, which is a ticketed event out of one of our vendors' farms. That's uh, the day after the first day of summer. Yeah, it's the June second 22nd. longest yeah. day of the year. Or right. Around there. <laughs> but uh, it'll be a ticketed event where we're supporting, it's a fundraiser for Access to Healthy Foods, which is a program run by our sister organization, Sustainable Farms and Communities. Mm -hmm. So what Access to Healthy Food does is it doubles food stamp benefits to people at the farmer's market. So they get more access to local healthy oh, food, fresh that's, foods. That's SNAP, right? Is that's SNAP. SNAP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doubles? Up to $25 it doubles. That's great. So if they want, they can spend $50 at the farmer's market. And so it helps out lower income folks and also helps out the small local farmers. Mm -hmm. um, farmer's market is uh, held when? It's uh, Saturday, 8 to noon at the Ark, 1701 West Ash Street. And how many, how many separate vendors do you have? Uh, this year we have about 73 vendors. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lot. And uh, uh, all of this, all of the merchandise they sell they either grow or it comes from a very close area, right? It's a producer-only market, so everything that they sell there, they've either grown, raised, or made that product from scratch. Okay. Um, okay. And the radius is a 50-mile radius, so all of them come within 50 miles of Columbia. All right, so give us the, uh, the date and time again for the ticket-only event. So this will be June 22nd, and you can buy tickets at the Columbia Farmers that, Market every is Saturday. Is that a uh, Saturday? That's a Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday. And it starts at 4 with the farm tour of Bluebell Farm, where mm -hmm. it will be located. And then the food? The food is all sourced by Columbia Farmers Market vendors. So Do you it's know all what within, it's going to be? There's going to be a lot, there's going to be a lot of food there. <laughs> um, there's going to be some jambalaya. There's going to be lamb. There's going to be lots of vegetables and salads. There's also going to be brisket. So there's something for everyone, okay. vegetarian. And how much does it cost? It costs $50. And all the proceeds go to Access to Healthy Foods. Okay. If people want more information, is your website or a phone number they can call? Yeah, there's uh, ColumbiaFarmersMarket.org, and there's also our market manager, Karina Smith's phone number, which is 573-823-6889. Now, is the only place you can buy the tickets at the farmer's market, or can you get them online or somewhere else? You can call Karina Smith, or e send her email at ColumbiaFarmersMarket at gmail.com. Okay, and you can get the tickets, and it's $50. It's $50. And all of that money goes to help the SNAP program. Yeah. The, Which that. is neat, then, that it, it's doubling what the people can buy. Right, right. So it just extends how much fresh healthy How much foods. are you hoping you're going to raise? We're hoping to raise at least $5,000. That's great. Yeah. I, I wish you the very best of luck with it. Thank you. Okay. And all of the all of the people that are that are vendors there, we wish you the best of luck. I appreciate it's it. It's a good rain coming so far this year. Which is yeah, nice. it's, it's been a good year so far. Yeah. Hopefully, knock on wood, it'll stay that <laughs> way too. Okay. Thank you so much, Matt. We appreciate it. And Plen Air uh, in Fulton until June the 29th. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, Maple's Rep Theater will be with us. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director, Lowell Thomas, not the newsman, our floor director, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Pepper P at Missouri.edu. We'll see you tomorrow. Have yourself a, a nice morning and be nice to each other. Bye-bye.